Yo, just, just give me a sec, give me a sec. Private property. How are you guys doing again? Thank you so much for joining us on another episode of the Home Shopper Show. Today, we are in a BMW X4M competition. And before we go and show you this beautiful 8 million rand penthouse in Hurlingham, you're gonna jump in here with me on these beautiful red Murano seats. We're gonna take this car for a spin. We're gonna see what it has to offer. And then off we go to that 8 million rand penthouse. And we're gonna take a look at what living in Hurlingham has to offer. Come on in. So as I mentioned, we are sitting in a BMW X4M with the competition pack. So let's talk about the exterior. The styling, it is all black outside. It's rocking the Shadowline kit, so you know everything has been blacked out. But also, it is a BMW M car, so you know what to expect. It is aggressive, it is tall, it is sporty, it has got huge wheels with very, very nice rims. Now, interior is a completely different story. Beautiful, beautiful, classy interior. The gap between Audi and BMW has been closed. Everything you can think of is within this car. You have got your fully illuminated digital dials. You've got heads-up display. You've got a Harman Kardon sound system. You have also got your red Murano leather seats. Then, what are your M-touches? You've got tri-color M-touches on your safety belt, as well as on the illuminated headrest behind us. So you've got a little badge there that lights up, looks beautiful in the nighttime, but your door sills also light up. So as soon as you open up your door, you've got your light up M color door sills. Then, talking about things that light up, your door handles, as soon as you unlock the car, bang, they are illuminated as well. This interior, really I can't say enough about it. It is very, very fast. 503 horsepower, 443 pound-feet of torque, and that's all delivered via all four wheels. This is an all-wheel drive car, so you can imagine the Nord 200 speeds. I do believe it's sub four seconds, which in an SUV is astronomical. Now, there's quite a bit of space behind us. For long trips, I don't think anybody's gonna have an issue, but this ride is a sporty ride. Even though this may be an SUV, this is definitely a sporty ride, so be prepared for that. But what a sporty ride it is. I don't think you can be in this car and not feel like you've made it, just like that M6. Just while we've been filming, so many heads have turned too. Who has provided us with all of these beautiful cars? And again, it is the people at Prestige Marks. Dominique, if you wanna buy any of these cars, if you wanna buy this BMW, if you would like some Porsches, if you'd like that BMW M6, I urge you, to give Dominique at Prestige Marks a shout. Take a look at their Instagram. It is Prestige Marks. Take a look at the cars they have to offer. They are fantastic. So let's show you a little bit more about what this M6 has to offer. And then we're off to that 8 million rand penthouse in Hurlingham. So let's talk about a couple more features, very cool features and very quickly that this car has to offer. Number one, you've got gesture control for your entertainment system. You don't need to touch the volume wheel. You can just spin your fingers either clockwise or counterclockwise and the volume will change. There's a bunch of other gestures that tie into that. You've got your M1 and M2 buttons on your steering wheel to immediately set the car into the performance options you want. Comfort, performance, extra performance. It's all here and at the touch of a button. You've got illumination both in your door, your door sills and across the dash. Nighttime looks incredible. Panoramic sunroof above you. You've got a 360 degree camera reverse ahead of you as well as on the sides. So there's absolutely no way you're going to curb these incredible 19 inch wheels. As I mentioned as well, this has got the competition pack. So it is the fastest X4M on the market. Get it now and you can only get it from Prestige Marks.
And here we are within a three bedroom, five bathroom, contemporary, almost flat in the heart of Hurlingham, but this is so much more than a flat. Obviously not only in scale, but in construction. We've got marble throughout this apartment and different types of marble that make such beautiful rooms. We've also got a lot of wrought iron as well as wood and there are some really cool tricks up this apartment sleeve. So what we're gonna do is let's talk about this dining room area. Really big, lots of space. You've got views of the whole of Santon City as well as Johannesburg CBD. Every single time we do one of these apartments, I'm always telling you, take a look at the views, take a look at the views, and the views keep getting better. If you imagine sitting in this dining room area, watching the night lights across Santon CBD, it must be incredible. But back to there being a lot of space in this dining room area, you can see this eight seater dining room table really does not make the area feel crowded. You've also got space for some bars in the back, but we've got this iron staircase over here swirling all the way up to the top where there is a real bar that we're gonna be showing you shortly. But let's move from the dining room area into the kitchen and it is dominated by this island here which I believe is quartz. I'm gonna ask our camera guy Erasmus to just zoom in on the texture. It feels incredible, it looks stunning and it's one of the many earth slash rock elements within this apartment that is absolutely incredible. Wait until you see the bathrooms. But this kitchen has got tons and tons of space here. This is a cook's delight. We've got that quartz running along this countertop as well with the melee touch burner. You've got an in-built wine chiller. You've got both your oven as well as your microwave built into the cupboards. You've got a hidden fridge right around the corner here. Pull that open. You've got your hidden fridge. It's not marring the aesthetics or the look. You've as well got right in the corner the back hidden away from all of your guests, a continuation of that beautiful stone countertop, as well as an opening window, giving you something to look at while you're scrubbing up with the dishes here in this double bin sink. Then you've got some space under counter for all of your appliances, as well as on top of the counter. It's a really cool level adjustment. But again, right in the corner here, where all your cupboards are, you've got another breakfast nook. Yeah, you can sit with your friends, your family, if you just wanna whip something up quickly, eat it before you need to get out and enjoy the town. Santon City right around the corner, but what a nice kitchen. Guys, I'd love to know in the comments what you think about this kitchen. It's so different from what we've shown you before. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these kitchens. But this is just the start. While we're on the bottom floor, these two floors, let's go take a look at the TV room and then let me show you the first bedroom. We're gonna leave the master suite, which is also downstairs for last, because that is one of the coolest tricks I've seen out of any of the apartments we've showcased. Let's go take a look at that downstairs living area. And here we are within the TV area downstairs, perfectly shaped, perfectly sized for an entertainment area. This could be such a perfect little cinema even, if you wanna throw up a projector on one of the walls. You've got a window on my left hand side giving you that incredible view of Sant and CBD. And I mean, look at your furry wall. If you want to, if you want a rubber furry wall, you've got one. It comes with the house. What also might come with the house, I don't know how you feel about it, guys, let me know in the, in the comments, is uh, this little cheetah over here. Tell me what you think. It's definitely odd. It's definitely something we haven't seen before. And it gave me an Erasmus quite a fright when we walked in here the first time. But how cool is this room? I think it's so cozy. I definitely think you couldn't find a better TV room with the TV up there. Oh, something that looks like a fireplace there. I think it's movie time. Guys, we're gonna catch something on. I know that there's some good things on Blockbuster. We'll see you in a little bit. And here we go into the first bedroom and this walk-in closet. Now, there were so many mirrors here that uh, my cameraman Erasmus decided to say, Chad, I'm not doing this. You're gonna get a taste of my job. And I tell you now, I'm never gonna be able to give him trouble again because this definitely does require a bit of work. But take a look at this walk-in closet. You've got self-illuminating mirrors right over there. Look at that. I mean, and then to make it even cooler, if you swipe underneath, it is literally touchscreen. Sorry, I'm messing it up now with the camera, but how cool is that? There's the entrance to your bathroom, which I'll show you now, but I'm gonna use Erasmus for that. But here it is, walk-in closet for your first guest bedroom. And this leads off to the bedroom. So let me get 
my very useful cameraman here again and then let us show you exactly what this bathroom and this bedroom looks like. And here is the first bathroom within that same guest bedroom. I'm sure you're going to be very happy to get me off behind the camera and give it to somebody who knows what they're doing. Definitely a lot of respect there to young Erasmus. Hey Erasmus. Hi. <laughs> there we go. So this is the first bathroom. It's got a beautiful porcelain bath there standing, freestanding underneath a window. And over here, as you can see, another gorgeous shower with not one, but two shower heads. The touchscreen mirrors continue with one of those touchscreen mirrors underneath your vanity. Cupboard space underneath, but I think the killer feature for this whole house are these tiles. I love the choices of marble. I love the choices of tiles. There's aircon in this bathroom, so you are living in the lap of luxury. But let's go check out that bedroom, and then you and I are going upstairs. Bedroom time, let's go. Here it is, the first of the two bedrooms located downstairs. Again, obviously air con. Sorry about the noise, they're just testing out the gate motor. Security is obviously key in a complex like this, but there's never a lot to say about bedrooms. So this one, very big. You can see how massive the bedroom is in behind me. And on my left-hand side, plantation shutters in case you do need some privacy. This bedroom also opens up with two sliding doors onto your own private balcony that wraps right around to the dining room area. But the killer feature of this whole house is this absolutely incredible view of Sandton City. It looks stunning. You even get hints of some of Johannesburg CBD, like I said. Fresh air, a beautiful view, and a very, very different and very unique house. What more could you ask for? Let's follow this balcony and see where we come out. This is one out of the two balconies available in this house. And if we follow it, we pop out right here in the dining room area. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you where this spiral staircase leads. And here you are within your upstairs area. This is the bar area. This is another TV lounge area. This is an entertainment area. You bought this property, you've got money now. This area can be whatever you want it to be. But how beautiful is this? Lots of space again, built-in bar with all of those marble fixtures, pop-up plugs in case you need some power and all of this shelving behind us to showcase your very expensive, I'm sure, your very expensive, I'm sure, liquor collection. Underneath, Lots of refrigeration. You're going to be keeping all of those mixes nice and cool and in front of you, uninterrupted, 180 degree views of Sandton City. I cannot get enough of how they've used glass and that absolutely massive veranda to showcase the perfect situation that this house is. Now, this isn't the only thing I can show you here. This is one of the nicest things, but it's not the only thing. So follow me before we head into the bathroom and the other bedroom. Let's take a look at what this balcony and what that veranda has to offer. And here we are within one of my favorite areas of this house and that is the outdoor patio slash veranda, whatever you want to call it, it is absolutely incredible. You've got so much space here. You have got an outdoor shower to enjoy. You've got a balcony, you've got a gas bra, and you've got these incredible 180 degree views. This balcony also wraps around, we're going to be showing you that. But imagine sitting here, lying here, Canning here, whatever you want to do, enjoying a drink out of your bar and just living the high life. Come with me, private property family. Let's sit down, let's have a drink, let's throw a party. We're nearly at the end of this coronavirus lockdown. We're holding thumbs and we're going to be having that party right here. But let's take a look at where this balcony leads. I don't even know, so we're going to find out together. And here we are within the only bedroom upstairs and the second of the three bedrooms located in this house. Three bedrooms, five bathrooms, remember that, but what a bedroom this is. With the view behind me, you cannot, cannot, cannot go wrong. Behind the bedroom, you'll find your walk-in closet. All the bedrooms within this apartment have got walk-in closets. You'll find another one of those ultra-cool, touch-sensitive mirrors. So if you're getting ready, you've got the perfect space for it. And then beautiful white marble leads you into the bathroom. You've got your own separate toilet, shower, as well as vanity. And this bathroom, along with all of the others, are absolutely stunning. So, before we head downstairs, there's a toilet located just to the right of the bar area to service any of your guests. Beautiful 
wall length mirrors as well as your toilet there with the hidden system and then your vanity with some under counter storage. And here we come to nearly the end of the video but you heard me say three bedrooms and you've only seen two. You also heard me say there's something very interesting that this apartment has and it's right here. If you grab this mirror or painting whatever you'd like to call it and just give it a quick pull it opens up into your final guest bathroom as well as a storage area that leads into the master suite. So come along, let's take a look down this passageway and let me show you what the master suite is all about. The guest toilet is just behind that sliding door and you've got beautiful marble leading into a very, very interesting shaped sink as well as a mirror that takes up the full wall and your toilet with a hidden cistern. Then on the other side of the guest toilet, you've got your long hallway with cupboards on the right hand side. Those cupboards give you lots of room for towels and sheets and anything else you'd like out of the way, but still within easy reach. Then walking along that long passageway, you find yourself in the master suite. Now this house has been such a challenge to film. My videographer has told me, Chad, there's too many mirrors in this house. You're giving me a lot of problems. You're giving me a lot of headaches, but we have survived. And here we are within the final bedroom the master bedroom but this house has still got so much character that I'd love to talk about the TV lounges have all got speakers built into the ceiling this master suite as well it's got two speakers built into the ceiling this house is yeah for all of your needs for everything you like it's got it this room in particular has got a massive walk-in closet with lighting in each and every one of the drawers you've got a huge area here for your bedroom. You've got a wall that is made up entirely of glass that you can slide open and enjoy. Who needs a balcony when your whole wall opens? And behind me on the right hand side, you've got entrance into your very own private bathroom. But take a look at this over here. This wall of mirror houses your TV. So if you want to watch TV in bed, you don't need to mount it against the wall. No, no, no. You are staying in Hurlingham in a beautiful two-story penthouse. This is how we watch TV. It's right here. The only shame is it doesn't disappear into the floor. But I think the downstairs neighbors might complain. So let's take a look at this walk-in closet. And here we are within that walk-in closet. If you like clothes, if you're a collector of shoes, this is where you want to display them. Take a look at the lighting in each of the cubicles in the drawers that house the shoes. It looks incredible. And even this walk-in closet has its very own speaker and is air conditioned. That is living in Hurlingham. Now, off to the bathroom. Just before you get into the bathroom, you'll see you pass your own vanity built into the wall with a massive mirror that is also illuminated as well as a place to keep everything you need to look your best before you go out. But look at this bathroom. I love the marble in this house. It looks incredible, guys. Tell me what you think about it. I'd love to hear your opinions. But the bathroom has got double vanities, a full length mirror, as well as a walk-in shower with those two shower heads. So even when you're showering, you're getting the best out of it. So there we have it. This episode of the Home Shopper Show is concluded, but I'm sure you're wondering what it takes to live in a home like this. So what I need you to do is contact Nasima Khan Properties. This house is going for 8 million Rand. Remember three bedrooms, five bathrooms, but there's also a four bedroom, four bathroom downstairs and you can get the whole block for 13 million. So Nasima Khan Properties, give them a call, schedule a self viewing, but that is all we have for you today. Guys, we love you. We love that you tune in. Thank you for joining us. Don't be quiet in the comments. We want to hear everything you've got to say about this car as well as this home. And don't forget to catch us next time on another episode of the Home Shopper Show. We love you. Goodbye.